Hello. Uh, we finished the story yesterday. Oh boy. Let me fix this real quick. There we go. And uh, what did we do after that? Nothing, because I finished the story and then I left because I had to go. I think we pretty much opened up all the stuff. We have a bunch of side quests to do. Need the TDs. We over there. I don't have. I have this one. We can grab these teleports. Is that all I need is just those two for this area? Oh, it gave me the map. For the guy. Well, that's cool. Teleport over there, teleport over there. So there's a few teleports up there. I'm gonna go get that box. That's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. Just doing side quests and... Running around doing stuff. I don't know how much longer I'm actually going to play this game, because I don't like the upgrade systems. The, like, infinite grind of trying to find decent uh, echoes is going to annoy the shit out of me. But at the very least, it was nice to see like what this game does different. There are a lot of things I think that are better mechanically than Genshin, as far as like uh, swimming, not killing you in half a second. And stuff like Range weapons not being on a grid. Some obnoxious to play and feel awful. Complete. Oh boy. But yeah, um, I think this game's probably. Uh, I like the color in this game better because it feels more natural, like with the lighting and stuff. Genshin's always just super bright from what I remember. for the bird or dragonfly whatever the hell this thing is Hold it. 
Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm in the... Oh no, this is somewhere else. I don't know where I am. Where the hell is I right now? Two chests in the back. It's always so hard for this game to just find the prompts, do the prompts. Oh boy, hey level eight. What else we got going on in here? Mail. Greetings, people. Stuff. We full. Oh boy. Compensatoring. All right. Well. I guess we can uh, start building to the next character that pops up, even though I'm not sure if I'm going to play that long or not. Both these poles are going to be purple, guaranteed. See? Purple, guaranteed. Probably going to be a regular character, not big buddy. Calcaro. He's Electro, so that's cool. I don't have an Electric, I get. That's cool. This one's gonna be gold. See? Gold. Just trying to guarantee that I got purple. I wanted purple, damn it. What's this do? Energy regen. Only got two regular pulls. I don't really have anything to level up. Big ass muggy. Extra damage. Midair attack, dodge counter. Be consecutive attacks. Push off field or resident skill extermination orders not performed again in a while. The skill will enter cooldown. Okay. I interrupt basic attack combo so you can like weave it together. That's cool. Weave it together like a basket, dude. Free cruelty is heavy attack is replaced with heavy attack mercy. Does she actually heal in this game? That was a joke. Five killing in tenth. Basic attack is replaced with heavy attack death messenger. So he has killing intent and cruelty. Oh boy. Oh, okay, so that's when he holds. Okay. Attack the target. Let's 
so I can level up skills now. I'm guessing I'm ranked two since we have ascended twice. Pretty cool, dude. So that means I got three five star characters now. That's awesome. Where's your box at? I need it. It's right there. Who, who made the cat float? Kitty, you're floating. Body control, where you is? Alright, uh, was I looking for this? And there's a side quest over there. Meow! I'll go grab the side quest first. Days of Cuba for your toe. And a big ass tree. What is that? Oh, it's one of those dudes. Oh, okay. See you later. Underneath me, I don't see it. I also can't see nothing because all the damn really is in the way, and it's like turning them in the, in the pixels on the screen doesn't help anything either. All right, so it says this thing is this way, and it's underneath me. Does that mean it's just right there? I don't see shit. Oh, there it is. I see shit. Yeah. I'm not gonna read all this stuff. Save a cat. Is it all the way back up there where I just dropped down from? <laughs> Okay, I'll be right there. Just over there, take this one off. Blow up thing right there too. And all that in a second. Going up. I did not let go of the forward button. Continue to move forward, please. Get it. On your cat. Was complete. I'm the best.
Alright, let's go see what this blood bank goes to. Clearly it's that. This off the map, let's go grab this teleporter and then we'll run north to the next one. And my energy is full. Got this teleporter, we'll fix that real quick. Probably start working on weapon upgrades. I don't really have any weapons that I want to upgrade, but. Probably better than nothing. Let me see what it what it says. Come in here. Uh let's do this one first, I guess. For those we can craft. Order challenge flaming. And that's just this place over here. 40 dudes. Each. Does this have difficulty levels? It does. I mean, obviously we're gonna do 50, because why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I do 50, dude? 30. That was it? Okay. What did we get? Six of those? Okay. Leave and see what we need for the other weapons. Alright, this is the shitty don't touch the ground land. I don't like this place. I really don't like this place. Ooh, weapon XP. I need that right now. Okay, resonator ring. A pound. Um. What does this one do? On entering the battlefield. Like an enemy gives you more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad. You were just gonna go ahead and eat the, the other one. Oh my god, put it on there, dog. Put it on there, dog. 18.75. I need to go craft these. Okay. Look at what the other characters need for their weapons and then figure it out from there. I think it was five and I had one or two or something. You don't remember. 
Use the synthematizer. I did that. That's why I have okay. Send this. Auto select. You have no XP. Greens. I don't want to use blues. Two thirteen. I did not go over very much. All right, let's check the other weapons. Here, we got enough of those ready to go. We need these. I remember seeing those somewhere. At some point. Any other? Cards for that dude, and she's got a blue. Do we have a purple for this? No, we do not. Apparently, I don't have any other... ...things, like, for her version of that. Let's see... For these... Misty Forest. Right over there. I don't have that teleporter, either. Or that one, or that one. Guess we could just go from wherever and do everything everywhere, all the time, every time. Apparently, there's side quests here. Should probably pick them up. Let's see if I have the other one open. I do have this one open, okay. I think this is the place that I found and I didn't put it on the map, but now it's on the map. Obviously. Now I gotta run this once. There's a bunch of teleporters I don't have here either. Blackio damage. Let's go run this and then we'll run over the other one, I guess. What the hell? Oh, I did that. So we gotta do level up five echoes, level ten, tune three echoes. Dacket suppression, uh, one time. We're about to do this. Let's go resonator to level three. I actually need more of the thing I just ran for that, don't I? Yep, yep, I do. A lot of that stuff. Makes sense to me. Right, let's jump in here. Run this real quick for old boys of home. 50, I'm guessing this is probably gonna be as simple like the other one. Oh boy, it's a different color. Did I win? Seven green, okay. Three blues, I got one of those things too. All right. Should be able to upgrade his weapon now. I think I want to use the blue 
weapons. But I think before we do that, let's make sure everybody has a weapon equipped. Somewhere. Give somebody this. Let's see what the other guy needs. Oh, he's got a broad blade too. Okay, well he can have this one, I suppose. And then probably what I'm gonna do is kinda wanna have like one like all the way maxed out for fun. And then we'll use the rest for XP. This guy is still using a level one pistol. Um, I should probably add those together. Resonance skill damage bonus. Energy on skill. Counterattack, probably not. Um, just gonna give him this one. I don't plan on using the guy, so he has blue dude. That's fine, we just blow hers up. This guy has blue pistols, blue thing, purple gun. What do you have? Hers is already blown up. Rank five. Okay, so we can give that to her, I guess. Okay, and then everything else we could just blow up. He didn't have any. Oh, that's the only one I have of that. Okay, hers is already five. Go ahead and blow this up. Can't do anything with hers. This guy's can probably upgrade it. Only one at a time, of course. That is unfortunate. Don't worry, I'll finish eventually. Rank reached. Oh boy. And then do we have a bunch of hers? Oh, this one up. They definitely could have done this process infinitely better. Unfortunately, they did not. Okay, and then how do I do the other ones? Probably from in here. Make sure to like open the other menu and then click the thing and then close the menu and then the button's clickable and then you gotta click a prompt and uh. It wouldn't be so bad if you could just put all of them on there at one time, but that is ain't how it works, dude. Okay, so we got both of those at rank five. This one. a lot of money to do this, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay, 
and just make a bag running around doing whatever. Okay, I think we have all of those good to go, so the rest we can spend. Unlock these. Those are not equipped. Let's go here. At that of five, I think we only have one of those. It's just this gun. Okay. Oh wait, now there's two different guns there. Understood. Rank five. Lock that, and then we gotta do this one. Spending all my money, dude. It don't bother me none. Not gonna be hard to make money back. Especially with events and stuff and just everything you can do. Not gonna be hard to get money. I spent like 200k, but that's fine. Alright, so all those are done. What do we have left? Swords, broad blades. We did the mage items. We need pistolas. We're gonna have that one at level five. This one's level 20, so obviously I upgrade that one. Obviously, we're gonna upgrade this one, dude. Oh, we gotta do fists, too. That's gonna take forever. Just cause how shitty this is. Alright, that one's done. Lock that. And they have the one on here. Got this yellow dude. that done. Blue one is already five as well, so all of those are fine. We did the mage ones. Let's go broad blades. Pretty much have to do all of them. Great gameplay. actually pretty expensive all things considered like that let's do this one they're just enough to get this to five hopefully doing this doesn't make me run out of money but we're gonna be just focusing on the three characters, I think. 
I'll probably work on Electro Buddy too at some point. To try him out. See how he work. Lock that, and then we just have this black one, right? And that's it. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm almost done. I just have to do fist weapons and. I think that's it. <laughs> Just fist weapons. The only problem is I think I'd have to do those from the menu. Alright, all those are done. I don't have any characters that use fist weapons. So broad blades are done. Regular swords are done. We did the mage items. We did guns. All the guns are done. All right, so that means I need to go in here. There's all the fist stuff. I don't have any purple fists. Right here, upgrade. one but that's fine just blowing up while we can this is the last one hooray then we can start using blue to so level stuff up. I just want one uh, of everything max for fun. And by max, I mean the secondary upgrade thing, whatever the hell this is called. Ooning. Breakfast and Worthering. Yeah, pretty much. I already ate breakfast though. What you get for breakfast? You go to like McDonald's or something? McDonald's? Alright, we're done doing that. Thank the Lord. What is this? News updates? Check it out. Five Star Resonator Convene Give Back Event. What? Not sure of reciprocal tides. Convene screen use events to sure. Participate in custom five star convene give back event. Rovers may select one of the five star resonators available in this convene event. Use the voucher or convene to obtain a selected resonator. Oh boy, when does that start? So the 26th. Today is the 25th. And apparently it's going to last a whole year. That's cool. It's 10 a.m. though, so it's 7 p.m. tonight, I think. Just wanted to repose it. Hey, sausage bagel, copy with a donut. Hell yeah. Winchels. I love donuts. Alright, did I even do what I wanted to do in here? Auto select. Those don't even give XP. <laughs> Did I lock that last fist? 
I don't remember. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. Okay, good. Just making sure. I'm just I'm making sure, dude. Alright, that's done. I need to upgrade her weapon. I run down there. I'm in any of these teleports. We can go from here. I don't want to go from here though and just grab all these on the way down. How free is this game? Why are these games so easy to make? They're probably not easy to make. But it's just what a good portion of development studios are making because apparently they see how successful the other ones are and then they want to make their own or whatever. So that's what they do. I literally have played this game three times now. Like it's, it's basically the same shit. Like there are some very minor differences and there are things that I like about this game. Uh over like the older ones. But uh they're not enough to like make the experience different enough to matter. So it was cool, yeah. Oh good lord, this four four butterfly dudes. There's a cube up there. I grab that okay let's target this one but yeah like there's there's nothing wrong with this game it's just the fact that it's literally the same thing it's the same upgrade systems for the most part there's the way they did one of the upgrade systems is, is mildly different but not enough to like warrant whatever yeah the shell works right there Tales of Arise? No. Uh, this game is basically based off of Genshin Impact, which is based off of Breath of the Wild. Which is based off of... nothing. Yeah, no, it's just everything is uh instant. There's no like going to the, to a battle screen or nothing like that. You just run up the stuff and start whooping ass. It's basically like Dark Souls. I know you like Dark Souls. There's a butterfly up there. I don't care about butterflies right now though. 
That's my main problem I have with th this game is there's so much shit to do like in the world and like if I have a, something I'm trying to complete and then I'm like looking around like look at that look at that stuff over there. Look at that stuff over there. I gotta do that stuff over there. And then it's like no I need to go do everything else that I actually want to do. And it's just like a giant that. I think I went inside, not up the building. What build did I go with? Well, every character has their own set of skills and stuff. Right now I'm using, uh, this is the character you start with. That's like the central figure in the story. It's actually pretty good in this game. A lot of games, the main characters kind of buttholes. But this one's actually all right. Uh, and then uh, number two, this dude, he is the uh, first like event character, special guy. That's not gonna be available for very long. Got 19 days left. Um, and I just happened to get him. And then I also got for my Uh, they have a, a novice recruit thing or rookie recruit, whatever it was called. And basically it discounts the pulls for five pulls and then within those five pulls you'll get a five star character and this is the five star character I got from that. Basically it's just a little mage thing that has, you can't really see them that well, but uh, they're like stuffed animals, uh, the black and white bears. They like fly around and do a bunch of shit. Yay! She's pretty cool. When you use her ult, she turns into like a different character. She's basically got two sets of abilities. Like they're they're pretty similar, but uh, she turns into more of like a melee character when you use her ultimate thing. And, uh, yeah. And then today, before you got here, I got, uh, this guy. He's an electric character. And a five-star dude. He seems pretty cool. The problem is, is I don't really have anything to, uh, get him caught up at this current point in time. But this is one of those games where, like, as you run around, the more stuff you do, the more things you get. Yeah. So basically, as long as you have the characters, like, leveled up and, and adequate weapons and the other stupid echo things, you can use pretty much whatever you want, whenever you want. There's not, like, a... a, a you're not locked into, like, a specific build or whatever like I I am right now because the these are the three characters that I have everything in, invested into but obviously you can spend money and get everything everywhere if you really want but uh yeah I mostly just wanted to check this game out and see See what the differences were between this and the other one because they're basically the same game obviously the worlds are different the main uh thing that i like about this game is like the lighting is really good and the colors aren't like so bright and blown out that it looks unnatural i think genshin has that issue where like everything is just super fucking bright and this game the colors look more natural to me, in my opinion. But I wear glasses too, so that probably doesn't mean much. I wear glasses, so I don't know, man. 
Was pay to win then? Uh, well, you can buy the pulls to get the new characters. You can buy energy, which allows you to do anything and everything. And yeah. If you're free to play, you run out of energy and you can't do anything at that point, so... But if you spend money, you can just buy energy and keep playing the game. Rich people buy the stuff? Yeah, they do. Guaranteed. That's the only reason they, they made this game, is because they knew people would, buy, would pay for shit. That's why they made the game exactly like Genshin Impact. Well, not exactly, but... 90% of it is the same thing. Look at all these rocks down here. It's a boar. All right, what am I doing now? I just gotta go over here. So I can upgrade the mage lady's weapon. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, I pretty much just wanted to check it out, see what the differences were, see if it was different enough to where I would want to continue playing, and I don't think it is. Like, it's been fun, what I've seen and what I've done, but in terms of, like, playing it as a long-term game, probably not. Uh, there is a daily quest, but they're very short. Like the one that I did, did today, it was just go to the spot that I marked and fight some stuff for like two seconds and then it was over. And then there's like the the point systems where like you log in. It has a battle pass because everything's got a battle pass now. Um, and just like any anything that like your typical mobile game has, or anything that is used to make money. Um, this game has it. Like this is the energy thing right here. I got 166 out of 240. Basically, 10 energy is an hour. It costs 40 to do this thing and get the reward for it. And, uh, yeah. There are items to restore energy, and then you can pay to get more. Energy is what? Energy is... 
way you used to play the game, for the most part. That one was a lot harder than the other ones. And now we can upgrade her weapon. I don't think I have enough to level it up though. Like time? Oh yeah, I said uh, every 10 energies an hour. It goes up to 240, so you can hold up to a day's worth of energy. But everything is either 40 or 60. For the energy cost, so you do like a few things and then you don't have energy anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Upgrade. We do have the stuff, that's good. So now this can go to 50. Oh, I can level it up. Okay, cool. Her weapon's 50, so she does more damage. Digital age. Yeah, it's just one of those things, like... As long as they make money, they're gonna update the game and add more stuff to it, so... people really enjoy the game they're just going to continue shelling out money as long as they have money to shell out how much is a year to play what do you mean Let's see. One crystal, 60 astrite for 60 wave plate. Oh, I guess you can only do it six times a day. So I guess you can't just play infinitely. So what is that? That's 360. That's a day and a half. Top of you already have the 240, so that would put you at 600. So that's three days or whatever, four days, ten days. No, not ten days. That's too much. 240, 240, 240 would be 720. So it's a little less than. Three days short time yeah no like because you can you can spend this easily like the bosses cost 60 like this dude right here it costs 60 when you get, want the rewards from this guy and then uh let's see where's like the big boss this guy this guy's also 60 but you only get three attempts at this dude I don't know if that's a week or a day. It's probably a week. And there's this dude. This is also three attempts. So it's like it's time gated and it's uh, energy gated. So it's like uh, everything on top of each other. But most of the money that they make is just from uh, pulling for the characters. Because you need uh, 1600 gems or 10 of these things to do the, the event pulls. And let's see, Blue Knight. Let me see if I can find the. Let's see. So sixty Blue Knight is a dollar. You need sixteen hundred to convert to the other thing. 
And it looks like they give you double the amount for first. One time only for a price tier. Okay, so the first time you buy something, you get double. So for a hundred bucks, you get 6480 and then it doubles it for the first time you buy it. 6480 alone is what is that? It's 32, 48, 64. So it's like four pulls for a hundred bucks. And four pulls does not guarantee anything as far as characters are concerned. And then should you double it? The first time you buy it, you get eight pulls for a hundred bucks. Eight pulls guarantees you get something if you don't get anything within the eight pulls. Like you don't gamble? Yeah, no, like I definitely wouldn't spend money on games like these because the value for what you get and then what you don't get from during the pulls is just not, it's just not worth it, dude. Like in reality, buying skins in like Overwatch or Apex or something would be uh, a better use of money, even though that's not fucking worth it at all either. <laughs> what is this block for? Oh. I see. That goes there, we grab this, we throw this up there. That lights that on fire, and I'm guessing there's gonna be a box at the top. There's definitely a box here. I didn't want to do that. That right there and then we grab this dude and we put this dude right here and then we grab the box great you get free energy yeah every every hour is 10 energy so everything costs 40 or 60 energy so to do the th the things that cost 40, you have to wait four hours to do do it once. Yeah. And then to do the things that cost 60, you have to wait six hours to be able to do it once. Yeah. Hey. So basically, if you wait a whole day and play once a day, you can do either four 60s or six 40s. It's not a lot, but this is a game that's intended to be played every day, so... Yeah, if you play every day, it's not like a super big deal because it's pretty. It's the same thing as Star Rail, that game that uh, that I was playing. I decided to stop playing that one though because the upgrade system was just annoying. It's free to play, and this this game has the same upgrade system, so that's why I'm probably not gonna play this beyond like today. I'm just kind of exploring the game a little bit more. I've already finished the story that they have in the game already. I'm just running around doing other stuff. Like, uh, probably gonna be doing side quests here in a little bit, but I'm um, just, just walking around doing things right now. Ugh.
No, because Genshin is the same game as this. It has the same upgrade systems. And I just, I don't like the way that they work or are or can be. So I fixed that. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I guess the game just cool. Alright, well that's done. Oh yeah, I should probably go along with this so I can teleport here if I want to. Back to ease, yeah. I'm gonna go back to like more single player stuff. Cause I'm not gonna play Overwatch 2 anymore either. The game's just not worth the time. for the thing, so I guess we can try it, see what happens. I have to touch it. How do I touch it? If it ever ends anyway, holy cow. Oh, I guess it's this one's 62. Got some glacio prisms. This XP and whatever. Tuning four star echoes. Three star echoes. Okay. Finish the daily stuff. Well, they gave me a chirp puff. It sucks. And yeah, I needed to do that for this thing. These are just like little. Whatever. Whatever stuff. Oh, a skill. Costs more of those, which costs more energy. Uh, oh, this is just a list of all the stuff. Okay. Yeah, so the, the bosses that have three attempts. Um. They actually stack together, so like if you did this guy three times, you can't do either of these anymore. And then this thing is just like a level by level thing. It's supposed to get harder the higher you go or whatever. 
And these are just uh, weapon materials and skill materials. And then this is like basic stuff, like this is character XP, this is weapon XP, this is money. Yeah, like the game's fun to play, it's just... Uh... The like appeals of the game is like getting the new characters and all that kind of stuff. And it's a lot harder to get the characters if you don't spend money. And it's kind of weird because like the 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 more I talk about it, the less I want to continue playing. <laughs> but that's just it is what it is. It's just how the game's set up. Like, uh, you can, you can definitely play the game as a free player, like, cause I got pretty far on Star Rail and I had the majority of the characters that came out. It's just, it's a lot of time and effort. Even though you can't put in a lot of time and effort, I guess? It's, it's a weird dynamic and like, the, the thought process overall is just kind of weird. This game be single player? This game is single player. It has co-op, but you don't have to co-op with other people. As far as like being a standalone single player experience, they'd have to add a lot more. Cause that's how these games start. They start with hardly any content. And then they add more along the way. Yeah, no, it's not like our eyes at all. Oh, it gave me the echo. I was like, where'd the echo go? But, uh, yeah, no, this is, this is nothing like a single player game that's like 60 hours long. Like, you can definitely get 60 hours out of this game. Like, I think I've already gotten like 20 to 30 hours, even though this game's only been out a couple days. because I played it a lot the first day I played for 13 hours so I'm probably somewhere around like 25 to 30 but uh yeah that's pretty much how the game works and then like since I'm already done with the story basically in the meantime it's just explore the map unlock the rest of the teleporters I got a lot of teleporters to get and just there's just shit all over the place to get chests and or loot and more things and as your your union level goes up you unlock higher difficulties for stuff and then you just keep progressing until you hit the max level and then you just keep spending energy and then as new characters come out you keep pulling for characters as long as you can get enough currency to do it in the game So far, they've given out a lot of stuff to do pulls just because the game's brand new. And apparently, there's been some issues that people have experienced. I haven't really had any issues playing the game other than regular stuff. Like just regular dumb things like with climbing, climbing being dumb and whatever, but it's like literally every game that has climbing. I haven't played a game where like climbing is done like incredibly well, like free climbing. Obviously you have games like Tomb Raider and uh, Uncharted and stuff like that where it's all like, what's the word, not choreographed, but 
Well, I guess that's that's the word. It's like structured, where like you can only really climb one way in whatever sequence you're climbing in. But like games like this where you can free climb, there's a lot of shit that they they put in the game that you can climb, but they don't really think about like a player climbing it, so you can like get stuck and then it's just kind of eh overall. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, gaming are the good. Uh, I feel like this year I've been kind of, well, no, not this whole year, but like I've been kind of floundering these last couple months. Like putting a couple days into this game has been good because I've just been all over the place. Cause I've like lost my focus and I'm trying to do too much shit when I should just do one or two things. Like right now I kind of want to be done with this game and take a little bit of a break and then play with some ease cause that's what I need to be focusing on. I need to finish the last three games and then uh, just wait for 10 to come out. I ultimately know I'm not going to be playing this long term. Yeah. Oh. I was just, just hanging out, I guess. I don't know. My people struggle. People struggle with what? What are we struggling with? Look at, this, look at this big flower bulb thing. Very cool. But yeah, this game has like a lot of set pieces around the map and things. Like they got these big ass trees you can climb. Do, of course. Well, let me shoot up to this stupid grapple point. Oh, look, now it works. Huh. Okay. But, uh, yeah. I want to do I was gonna like unlock the teleporters to do the side quests and stuff but like ultimately all this shit is doesn't really matter there's a lot of stuff to do though past the story so people that actually care about playing this game beyond this point uh pretty nice But ultimately, it's just not for me, because I'll show you exactly why I don't want to play this game long term. And it's this system right here. Basically, the way these work is these are the, the monsters that you fight. You can collect their echoes. They have different rarities and stuff. The problem is like, uh, let me see if I can find like multiples of the same thing. Okay, these are all the same type. So like these guys right here, right? These are all the same monster. Black heel prisms. But uh, they all have different stats. Like these two, these three have HP percent and flat HP. This has defense percent and flat HP. But they also have like the effect these two have the energy effect that gives you energy regen that helps you do ults more. And then these two have the havoc damage increase. And the issue with this system is these are all the same monster, but they can be 
as far as I'm aware, like any effect. Like all of these are all the fire one. These are, these two are ice for this fish, but this one's spectro, which is light. But if you look, these two are attack percent and flat health. This one's health percent and health. But you have to equip at least two to get this first effect and then five to get this effect. So if you have like an attack character and you want this like specific fish right here, then you want like the attack percent and then like whatever damage that that character does. So like the main character does spectral damage. So like this would be okay for the main character because it's got attack percent and it's got the spectral damage increase. But the problem is if you want this specific thing where you don't have this specific setup, then you have to like continually farm this dude until it gives you the right effect type and then the right stats up here. And then beyond that, uh, like I leveled this one up. You can get three extra stats below like the main ones. And when you get those stats, these are random. Like this one rolled pretty good. You got crit rate 7.5, crit damage 16.2. Then I got energy regen 6.8, which is pretty okay. So like if I take one of these four star dudes, so like this, this right here, this is exactly why like this system is, is buttholes for the most part. You have Glacio damage bonus, which is cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then you have the effect of like healing plus. So if you're trying to, to put Glacio damage bonus on a Glacio character, but this is like the only echo you have that has that, then you have to deal with like the healing plus effect. And if that character is not a healer, then obviously this is worthless. So then you have to farm this guy and wait for it to have Glacio damage bonus again, and then have an effect beyond that that isn't total, total buttholes for the character. And then when you upgrade it, I'm just going to do this as an example because I don't care that much. Uh, so plus 20, you get up to four stats, right? So the Glacio damage bonus went to 18.9, attack went up to 63, which is cool. And then you have the four slots, but the thing with the slots is you have to use these tuner material things to open them up. So like, if we open up all of them, just for fun. So this thing got crit rate 8.1, crit damage 18.6, heavy damage 8.6, and energy re regen 9.2, which is pretty good. Right? All things considered, this is pretty nice for a Glacio character. But again, you go back to this right here, and if the Glacio character doesn't heal, then this is worthless. Like, everything up here is good, but if you don't have the effect that you want, then, like, it sucks. So then, like, if you want this specific guy, you have to go figure out where to farm this specific guy. And then the game has to roll this again. And then it would have to roll something different here. And then you would have to pray that the new guy that you got had anything similar to this. And it probably won't. And it's just like, it, it's a, it's a massive, like infinite grind. And like, I just don't like systems like that. I like systems where like you level it up. You get whatever you get out of it, and it's not like complete fucking random garbage. Games like this are never gonna have systems like that because, like, that's how you get people to keep playing and spend money is having that that infinite grind of trying to find the perfect thing. But again, to do the the things that give you those creatures, like this gives you like a guaranteed. So like this has these monsters and apparently there's a question mark that I don't have yet. So 
So yeah, like you would have to contend, like say you want this crownless dude right here, right? You have to contend with all these other things. You have to contend with all this stuff and you have to contend with all this stuff. So the chances of actually getting this guy for one, probably not very high. And then getting one beyond that, that is actually like good. If you multiply that with the first not very high, you then have very not very high. <laughs> And like, it's just, I just don't like those upgrade systems. They're just really annoying. Um, if we compare it to like Nikkei, the difference between like this system and Nikkei system, Nikkei has a similar system on the armor, but it's only three stats. And you don't have to like get a complete new piece of armor every time you want to uh, change it. You just re-roll that same piece of armor. But in this game, whatever the, the thing rolls, that's just what it has. You can't change it. So you have to get a brand new one, level that one up, and then unlock the, the stats on that guy and just hope to God that it's anything decent. And then if that one sucks, then you have to get another one and dude, it's, it's just like, like I said, it's just an infinite grind trying to find the perfect one. Or it's like Nikkei, you just re-roll the same piece of armor. So like if you, you get stats on the armor that you don't like, you just use a core and you re-roll. So don't have stats that you don't like, then you just keep re-rolling that one piece of armor. You don't have to get a new piece of armor and level up a whole new piece of armor every time. So it like that particular aspect is just infinitely better because then you just have to farm the cores to be able to re-roll the armor to find new stats instead of having to get a whole new piece of armor leveling that all the way up and then rolling it and seeing what stats it gets it's a, it's a huge difference and that's why like i continue to play nikkei above everything else because it's not a complete mess of just having to continually f get new things and level new things up and whatever and like it's nice if you just if you want that kind of a grind but to me that kind of a grind just isn't worth my time and effort Like I said, I, I like Nikkei's because even though it is still hard to get stats on the armor, you don't have to like completely redo everything every time. It just gets super tedious and it's not very fun in my opinion, regardless of whether or not you spend money or if I, if I were to spend money. But if I was gonna spend money, I'd just go buy another game. <laughs> I'd go buy another game and have another different experience, you know what I mean? But I don't know, that's just how, how I feel about it. That's my personal feelings, man. But yeah, otherwise, if you don't care about that kind of shit, like the the gameplay is fun. But the problem, the, the other issue is, is like you have this whole map to go run around and do everything in, right? And like, there's a lot of stuff to do, but there is going to be a point where uh, you run out of stuff to do like I already like these two areas are already at 68% 61% 43 This is only at 6% because this area just opened up yesterday through the story uh, This is a 31. This is a 18 38 26. I haven't done much in the southern part of the map Down it's only at 55 which is actually surprising Because I've done quite a bit there Eventually you do run out of stuff to do around the map and then you're just fighting the bosses and grinding The echoes to try to get echoes that don't completely suck and like level up your gear and that kind of thing Are they play standalone? Yeah No, as I say like these games are fun to experience and just like see the story and see like how they implement the mechanics 
But ultimately, it's the same game. It's just like Genshin. It's just like Tower Fantasy. It's just like... You know, any other game that I don't know about that's come out that's been exactly like this. It's just, it's just the same thing. And, like, I have basically played this game three times now. Because I played Genshin, I played Tower Fantasy, and now I've played this. It is the same thing. It's the same game. But I just like to experience them and see how they how they do things. Like I said, there there are some very small things that they do better in this game. Like, like uh, in Genshin, when you go swimming, you can only swim for like two seconds and then you die. Like you run out of stamina and then you you can't swim anymore, and you take damage and it takes you back to the land. And that's incredibly dumb, because. I, I am a, a person that's not athletic and I can swim for longer than these games let you swim. This game, however, doesn't do that stupid shit. This game you can actually swim for a good portion of time. As they understand, like, yeah, stamina bar, but at the same time, like, especially these characters that are doing, like, all these fucking crazy ass sword fighting moves and whatever, like, they can't swim for more than two seconds? Like, that's fucking stupid. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like they 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 got that right, or it's at least better than the other games. Um, and then like Genshin has this issue where uh, when you're aiming with the bow characters, the the reticles like lock to a grid or something, and it'll just like randomly pull like diagonally and stuff. And it's like I don't know if regular people notice it or whatever regular people. Uh, but like it really annoyed the shit out of me and I couldn't play those characters Just trying to shoot at things like I would just try to point the mouse at it and then like the game would be like Because it was like trying to lock its coordinates on a grid And it would never just go like straight to where I aimed it would be like And then it would end up there eventually And it was just really obnoxious um but yeah and then but but otherwise like the main like the upgrade systems and everything it's it's pretty much the same thing as as Genshin Impact and Star Rail it's all the same stuff um the puzzles they have in this game are pretty neat they reused one of the puzzles from well reused they they use one of the puzzles that's in Star Rail the little uh, dial things you have to turn. So like uh, so, some of it is kind of co uh, co copy and paste. Obviously it's not like copyright infringement or anything because it is a totally different game. Everything's called something different. But I mean if you if you put these side by side and had one person play one and one person play the other like you would be watching the same game. You wouldn't exactly get to the end of the same the same way, but but uh yeah yeah I, I just I just like to see how the games work and if they're any fun or not. Like uh, combat is is pretty fun. It's simple, but it looks cool. And it doesn't get tiring. There's like things don't have like a bajillion health. So you're not sitting there forever fighting one thing and whatever else. But, uh, a lot of it is just how the game is set up. Like it's, it's set up to get people to spend money. And like what you get for how much money you spend is just not worth it to me. I'd rather just go buy single player game for sure because then like if you think about it like this you spend money in this game to pull for characters and whatever else right well spending money doesn't even guarantee that you get characters whereas like if you spend money and you go buy a single player game you're guaranteed gonna get whatever's in that game right there's no, there's no like percent chance you just get nothing. You go buy another game, a single player game, it's a full experience. You're gonna get whatever that full experience is, guaranteed.
you know, regardless of, of whether it's good or bad or whether you like it or dislike it or, or whatever it ends up being, you know what I mean? It's a guarantee that something is going to be there in, in that amount of money that you spend. But in this game, like even if you buy energy, right? And you go do something with energy. The only things that guarantee anything energy wise is like this thing. This thing, you are guaranteed to get all this stuff when you fight this dude. Or like the, uh, like this thing, you're guaranteed to get the majority of this. I don't think you like all the time get all of this, all these things down here. I think these are just random drops, but you're guaranteed to get at least these two, I think. And then like this one's like a percent chance because it's like the higher rarity item. But like other than that, uh, like doing the stupid echo things, like again, like the, none of this is guaranteed. This is just the pool of stuff that you can get. This is what is available. That does not guarantee that you get any particular thing though. So even if you buy energy and you're just trying to farm these dudes, like that that money spent on that energy does not guarantee anything and all it guarantees is that you're going to be able to play longer and do more stuff that's it so if that's your goal it's just to play longer and do more stuff then yeah spending that money not not that big of a deal but if your goal is to like have the best characters in the game then like buying energy doesn't guarantee that in terms of like stats and abilities and damage and whatever. Obviously you can guarantee having the best characters in the game, like the actual characters themselves, because you can just buy pulls infinitely. I'm pretty sure as long as you have the money to facilitate that kind of shit. Cause you, you guaranteed have within eight pulls you get, you, you're guaranteed to get a five star character. And what was that? A hundred dollars was was eight pulls, I think. Yeah, because this is four pulls, I think, and then you get the bonus for the half. But then, after that, it's two hundred dollars for another set of eight pulls. So to guarantee another character, you had to spend two hundred dollars. You can get a character before that, of course, but that's not guaranteed. But you're guaranteed to find a character within eight pulls. And if you get to the eighth pull, then you guaranteed on the eighth pull get that five star character. Oh boy, I hit level 25. They gave me 15 pulls. Neat. That means we can do a pull for old girl. Uh, I have five more pulls on this to, to guarantee her. I can get it within those five pulls, of course, but... I probably won't. It's gonna be purple. Yep. It's purple. Got a purple thing. It's a glove. I don't think I had purple gloves. That's defense though, so that's kinda eh. No defense around here, please. And then if I get three more, I can do another pull, and then I'd only have three more pulls left on this to get this character. This is the one that I picked. Apparently you can change it anytime. We already got that dude. We got her as well. So the only other two characters I would pick is these two, but I think I would want her. I don't even know what these do. What do they do? Spectro damage with some foliage. Spectro damage while restoring HP to all characters on teams nearby. Photosynthesis mark. Character on a team nearby performs an attack on targets with photosynthesis mark. Performs coordinated attacks and expects your damage while restoring health to the active character dealing damage on a team nearby. Triggered once per second. That's pretty cool. So it's like an active attacking healer. That's pretty nice, dude. 
Maybe I should go for her instead. I already have the other wind buddy, so like not having her is fine. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change to her. Even though I'm probably not gonna get that far, because I, I already don't want to play. I don't want to play anymore. I'm already, I think I'm already done with this game. I was gonna do more, but having this conversation about how everything works is kind of deterred me from wanting to continue playing. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. It's just how it goes. Just how it be. Ain't spending nothing nowhere. But yeah, um... I don't know. Like, obviously, there's nothing wrong with setting the game up to be like it is, you know? Trying to get people to spend money is obviously developers want to be paid for their time and effort so they can put more into the game and that kind of shit. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just I feel like the amount of money it takes to do anything worthwhile is it's just not worth it. But there's a lot of people out there with a lot of money that are just going to blow out hundreds and hundreds of dollars, if not thousands. Nap time? Yeah, I think I'm going to take a break and then, uh, put some ease. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably done with this game. It was fun. I experienced what I did and pretty much see if anything was different but it's pretty much all the same stuff as Genshin overall technically speaking but uh yeah I'll be back in a little bit goodbye